Cheers, Donna. <laughs> Make do you know what I just I found out? out? I just found from a true Italian that you don't have to actually do this. Isn't it annoying when you're at a table and you feel like you have to yes, reach so across awkward. the table mm -hmm. that you can do this? Oh. <laughs> that looks really weird. And this means no. I swear to God, like a, really? an, an official you. Italian told me that you that you don't. An it's official annoying Italian. To have to, yeah, you just go like this, and this Sarah, is this is the same no thing. No one is gonna understand when what I'm you're doing. Either someone's pranking you. Sarah's gonna be at a table going, "Cheers." <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited that Aaron and Sarah Foster are here. Where I can't so even excited. contain myself. So I see you have so alcohol we, here. We Aaron's probably rosé. already drunk. So, so all double fist. Cheers. This feels yeah. right. Are you switching to coffee? I just go back and forth. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm working today. She it's she Thursday, energized. so I gotta. I can't be drunk. Can't be minutes. wasted. We're working for 20 minutes. Well, really okay. Done. So speaking of work, yeah, I'm very proud of you guys because you are named the heads of creative for Bumble BFF. Yes. And Bumble Biz. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. 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 Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. See, guys, it's amazing, isn't it? It catches on. Cheers to that. Cheers. I thought what was so cool is that um, when you met with the founder of Bumble, they they called your meeting Kismet, which is one of my favorites. Uh huh. Why do you think that was, and how did you guys get involved? Well. Bumble, um, you can sit this one out there, I'll explain everything. <laughs> um, uh, Whitney Wolf yes. from Bumble, the founder, sh they reached out to us last summer asking us to speak on a panel mm -hmm. about women in business. We just had really good dynamic, the three of us, and she was about to launch Bumble BFF and Bumble Biz, and she was thinking, like, how can we work together in a larger capacity? Because they wanted to get on the app. Because it's really built for women just like us. Yeah, I and think you. she probably you were probably flagged is how we found as how she found us like mm -hmm. person who's been <laughs> dating the most mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. Bumble. Well, too, like too much of an active user. Like a, like very active. Did you have very... any dating horror stories on Bumble? Um, no, I've gone out on a handful of internet dates and it's nothing horrible has ever happened. A lot of times I feel like I'll go out with someone who's really nice and normal and I'll have a totally fine date with them. And then I go home and I just feel like I never want to see them again. And it's I really, it's, you know, that you know that wholly. feeling. Yes, of you're course. like nothing bad happened. No, totally good want, guy. Yeah. Never want to see and him that's again. That's how ghosting happens. Yeah. Also, Although she's a ghoster. No. No, no, you're not. I don't go. Sarah doesn't know what ghosting. Oh is. yeah, sorry. I don't know. Right. Yeah, that's sorry. You do this. She does this thing where she's. I it's can't called, even do it. It's called Caspering. It's crazy. Wait, what's that? She literally. She'll meet someone and she'll have a one-hour date and then she'll feel the need to say to them, "I just don't have romantic feelings <laughs> towards you. I don't feel a connection." I'm like, "You're insane. Who is that? Honest. If I was on a date, if and I didn't like the guy, I'd be like, I'm moving to Africa." Mm -hmm. Or I'd marry you. Yes. Okay, so Caspering is the new yeah. ghosting. And, okay. and Sarah's retelling it a little bit differently, which is that I don't do it out unprompted. Mm -hmm. It's if I go on a date with someone, let's say it happens after one date. If I go on a date with someone and someone says like, hey, I want to see you again, which always happens to me. Um, how about Obviously. Thursday? And I don't want to go on a second date with them. And so instead of not responding, I just say like, hey, had a great time. You were great. Truth is, I just didn't really feel a romantic connection, like more of a friend vibe. If I could have curated my friend group and been on an app like that and found, and like, you know, been able to seek out friends who were creative and like making stuff and interesting and ambitious and like working hard, I would have probably figured out my work stuff a little earlier if I had been surrounded by yeah. more friends that were doing yeah. what I wanted to do, like we're comedy writers or in that space. So it's kind of a great way to curate and I find that. friends that target, hard. you know, I want a girl to work out with three But originally days a week. we thought it was really weird to date online. We like we didn't people yeah. didn't talk about it. Now it's like, yeah, oh it's I met him on Bumble. Totally like normal. we met online. Like it, it you say it without yeah. there's no stigma, I don't mm -hmm. think, related mm -hmm. to meeting your significant other online because that's just and I think it's gonna move in that direction right. for BFF as well. Since there's romance mm -hmm. in the air, you guys are working for Bumble. I don't know how to play this. Is this like We're going to play a newlywed game, but this is what you're going to do. I'm going to ask a question, okay. yeah. and you guys write down the answer for each other. Oh, great. And then see like if Like, answer it right. as if I'm Aaron? No. What my answer would be. So, like, what drives it. you crazy? Don't yeah, make this too complicated for Sarah. She's I, She can only really process <laughs> one thing at a time. Yeah. yeah. And she writes down what yeah. you're saying. Okay, I think so I get it. Also, it might help you to cover that up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what drives you crazy about each other? Like, what's each other's worst habit? Do you have a bigger whiteboard? I know what you're saying. I know. Are we going to guess what the other one's saying? <laughs> yeah, after you reveal. Um, oh God, I just don't even know where to begin. Done! Um, came right to my mind. Knew it right away. <laughs> I know what hers is. 
Oh, wait, I have two. Can I put two? Sure. Um, um, oh, wait, I don't know how to spell the I'm word. I'm doing like a nice one because I have so many like crazy things to say. <laughs> that that's more for like a therapy session. I mean, are you writing a novel? What's <laughs> happening? All right, I'm going to start. My hand okay, is going disgusting. First. Okay, I go. So I her I number one annoying quality. I know what it's going to be that I hum when I'm mad. <laughs> her humming is annoying as so so it'll what go like this. Hum? It'll go like this. We'll be like in the middle of fighting about something, work related or whatever. She'll just be like, hmm. That's not true. No one's ever hum, noticed this other than her. She hums all the time when she's annoyed, she hums. <laughs> Instead of just communicating what she's doing, about, she's just, hmm. it's not true. Okay, the second thing is she I won't she is the world's biggest exaggerator. No, that's not true. So either. like oh, biggest exaggerator. Like if I do something once, she'll be like, you always, and I've done it one time. All right, your turn. Sarah's the kind of person, we'll just fight this out. Sarah's the kind of person <gasps> who like, if you say <gasps> something to her, like, you know, if you say, you know, you're always late or something, like, always, always name five times I was late. Name five times I was late. I obviously wasn't loved enough as a child. You have your own reason right there. Oh, that's her reason. <laughs> We're gonna get really friendly now. Okay. What is each other's best feature? That's so sweet. It's not that sweet. I have nothing about her personality, just her face. <laughs> her best feature is her face. Her face. Her what is it? Her, her, her boobs. boobs. Oh, her yeah. Boobs. My boobs are in a great place yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. Feel nice free to zoom in. Great boobs. <laughs> They're natural. <laughs> They're Good all boobs. real. Yeah. Great oh, boobs. Natural. I gained like 15 pounds recently, and it has what? done really well for my boobs. Yep. You're always Over 30, you gotta put weight on. You just have to. It's true. It's a rule. You cannot, you gotta put like a good 5'10 really? on. Tommy always says that his most f um, fun period of having sex with me was when I was four months pregnant both times. Really? Yeah. Only, yeah. No, it's like, the, what do they say? Having sex with a skinny girl is like trying to take a nap on a wooden chair. What is Sarah's ideal date night? Oh. Oh, I know mm. what she's gonna say. Being in a robe at home. Ordering pizza in my robe. Oh! <laughs> and we got a winner. The robe. It's, the robe is. Uh, Tommy has threatened to burn the robe many times. <laughs> Literally burn it. It's not a sexy robe. It's like the the, oh, the string is like dragging on the floor. It's so the comfy. Thing is you have a sexy body to fill the robe. It's true. So there we go. What's next for you guys? Like, who are you gonna keep making laugh? We're writing a show right now for a network that we love, and then yeah. I'm so excited. I can't wait to watch it. Good. Yeah. I can't wait to be one of the first to watch it. Yeah. Well, guys, cheers. Thank you cheers. so much for being here. Cheers. 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 Right. Cheers. cheers. Apparently, apparently. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.